Hi girls, I'm Shivani Mohan and I love to share my makeup looks with you. Christmas is round the corner and we're all looking for the perfect red lipstick. So today I want to show you how I combine red with the rest of the makeup because I feel that if you're going bold on the lips, you can go a little subtle on the eyes. But if you want to go full party mode, then you can even go for bright eyes. But I like to keep them subtle. So let's get started with this look. I have cleansed my face as always. And I really like this Nykaa uh, primer. Prep me up primer. What it does is that if you have enlarged pores, it kind of puts a covering there. When the final makeup is ready, it doesn't look... You know the pores don't look that big it's an even complexion okay. so starting with the concealer Using this very fine blending brush, so I'm putting a little lip balm. So today I am again aiming for a luminous look so I'm starting with the MAC stroke cream. What it does is that whichever are the highlights of your face, it further enhances them. So I am putting it wherever are my highlights, which are the cheeks, basically, the forehead, the nose. best of noses but yeah I you still need to highlight it and then I will do some more work on it so this is like a formal evening look if you're going out for a party on Christmas or any this entire season you know you'll be having a lot of evening affairs so that's what this is for so I'm starting with the MAC foundation I think of all the foundations I have ever used, uh, I'm totally in love with this one. I think this has finally matched my complexion perfectly. Uh, let me tell you what shade it is. So bad with these. Okay, I'll write it later. So making these small dots all over the face. This is a brush from the same variety. I'm gonna use this to blend my foundation. So dab, dab, dab. bit over the eyes also today I'm applying normally I don't like to cover the eye area because I feel it becomes too cakey but today since it is like evening makeup look so I, I need a little more foundation so it's always good to start with less and then add as you go so you can take it directly on this also and apply like 
and even on the lips. So today I'm going for a little smoky palette. This is Rock Nudes by Maybelline. It has these beautiful colors. So I'm going to go for a smoky look, but a subtle one because I wouldn't be... I think I will not use an eyeliner today. That is the plan at least. So let me pick a shade. I'm going to go with this brown as a base let's see it's a grayish brown so this way i have applied this grayish brown shade on my entire eyelid first So I have uh, covered most of my lid with this. Brownish gray color. Just see how it completely transforms the dynamics of your face. That is. So now I'm taking this liquid eyeshadow by Lakme. It's got two shades. One is a dark navy blue kind of color. And the other is a, a shimmery golden color. So I'm going to go for shimmery golden on top of this. I'm going to apply this. So as you see, I'm basically going to apply it in the center of the lid and just deposit the shimmer because this is a liquid shimmer. So liquid shimmer, you can't sweep it around. It's better to dab it gently and just press it into it till it forms a layer so you have to wait for it to dry so that's about it that is my look now i'm outlining my lips starting with a maroon pencil lip liner from color bar so i'm outlining the lips a little outside uh, the lip shape also because i think darker colors tend to make your lips look smaller and i have uh, lips on the smaller side so i overline my lips a little bit i realized that i hadn't put mascara so i'm completing that part because mascara is something i don't like to miss and i will be also doing my eyebrows before we get into the lipsticks see how much of a difference it makes i just love the sultriness mascaras give to my eyes little blush so today i'm going with the bronze kind of a blush because pink clashes with red so i prefer this one Now doing the eyebrows just the way I have been uh, telling you in the last two uh, episodes of mine. Make short little strokes and uh, fill up the sparse places. Nothing very dramatic because today the accent will be on the lips. So it's always good to balance out what you're focusing on when you're doing makeup. You can't have everything bold that looks too dramatic and a bit over the top. So it's always good to balance your face. If you're going bold lips, keep your eyes subtle and vice versa. So I think we are good to go now. So now the face is ready. Now I will start showing you my favorite lipsticks, red lipsticks. 
right. Let's let's start. So I'm starting with a Sephora Rouge Balm, which is one of the most hydrating lipsticks I have ever seen. It is almost yeah, it is a balm. It's called a balm, and it is like a balm almost like a protective balm with the deep tint in it so this is a soft red but at the same time you know it will really nourish your lips and uh, you don't feel any kind of dryness in fact the days my lips are feeling extra dry i tend to use this lipstick and i know that by the end of it my lips will be feeling much much better and it's such a beautiful color too especially yeah christmas time christmasy till the new year's you can wear this color with any kind of outfit goes great with blacks monochromes of any kind and best part is you can even wear it in the daytime and it looks pretty nice also i feel it is a very a uh, fresh kind of red a debutante red if you may the next one is anything but debutante. This is a hardcore kind of a hardened brownish red. I think it is for a more confident and mature woman. It is an, another one from Sephora. It is from the Rouge Matte series M11 Rebel Chic. And uh, true to the name, it is the color of a rebel. You know, rebel without a cause or with cause. That's for you to decide. But yes. This is one of those colors that give you instant uh, boost, instant confidence to walk into a room and know that everyone will be looking at you. So if you like that kind of killer confidence, I think this is a must have color. Midway I realized that you know I need to spray a little bit of the MAC Fix It liquid which is a good idea because it hydrates your lips now i'm moving on to the next one so i am putting the lip liner again uh, because you know i don't want it to look different the famous ruby woo i haunted my husband for so long to get me this although you can buy it here but but it's much better when he gets it for me from an overseas trip so yeah the red most iconic red color of mac let's see what's all the hoopla about look at that pigmentation it is a classic I mean, it isn't a classic for nothing it's love it since he got it from overseas i don't know maybe he got a little older stops it is a little dry for me so i have to Now this is a perfect red especially for evening wear with your lovely cocktail dresses or a gown or even if it's a gala award function new year's eve it's ruby who <laughs> so what last time applying this liner again so that you get the true picture you know I don't want you to feel that one lipstick was better than the other because I applied liner for one and did not for the other another one of my old favorites from Sephora this is a matte red it is the Sephora Rouge matte in M14 which is uh, wicked
so this is a matte almost orangish red kind of color a very bright color it illuminates your face and it's a bold red i mean not for the faint hearted i would say a bit lighter than ruby who but yes it has a character of its own and i quite like it I had almost thought that I'll end it there but I forgot another red without which this video would be incomplete mm. so yeah the worst part about doing a red lipstick video is that half of your makeup you know goes for a toss but anyway liquid red by MAC it's got a maroonish tinge to it which kind i feel goes better with my complexion uh i've never been a red red person yeah now i've started experimenting more but i still always avoid red Because I feel that for red, pure red, you have to have good makeup on your face. But maroon is something which even otherwise, uh, without makeup, the way most Indian women are, uh, you can still carry it off. So I think it, so as you see, you know, because many Indian women don't wear this kind of makeup, now it has changed. Uh, with Instagram every young girl knows makeup but what I feel is, is this color I've seen my mom wearing it and I've seen a lot of women with uh, that Indian dusky complexion even if you're not wearing foundation and uh, makeup you can still carry off this color very well with uh, any kind of formal outfit so I think this is one color everyone should have and it makes your smile look radiant like you know Madhuri Dikshit or something like that so yeah even this is a bit drying so I'm gonna add a little gloss uh -huh. so this is definitely one of my go-to reds so this is definitely one of my go-to reds a maroon red So if you like my very simple makeup tips, do follow, like and subscribe and share it with your friends and keep watching Tangy Solvay channel. Bye-bye <laughs> and have a Merry Christmas and a very, very Happy New Year to all of you.